What we're talking about, what the question has to do is a non-operative treatment that's used for people with a certain degree of arthritis that has some benefit. It is not predictable. We do not know who it's going to help and who it doesn't help. Is it worth a try? Well, it's either three shots in two weeks or five shots in four weeks. Okay. And its benefit may be six months. And if that's the case, great. Unfortunately, my experience is it, lasts, it doesn't help all the people all the time. So one, we can't predict who it's going to help. And two, it doesn't last forever. So even if there's a ter short term benefit, be it six months or 16 months, ultimately surgery has a place. So there's two types of arthritis. One is inflammatory arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is inflammatory. Lupus is inflammatory. You hear about these terms. The other is degenerative or osteoarthritis. One, you could have been born with bad genes. Two, you could have had an accident as a youngster. You could have had a disease of bone and joint as a youngster. You could have gone and played some sport and toured your cartilage 30, 40 years ago, and the surgeon made a small incision and took out the cartilage, or maybe never did. And now you have post-traumatic arthritis, osteoarthritis, or degenerative arthritis. They're synonymous. So the key words, inflammatory, osteo. Under osteo, it could be post-traumatic, wear and tear, or secondary to some other process. Cortisone is an anti-inflammatory. So if you take an aspirin or a leave or an aprosin, or Celebrex or whatever, and it doesn't help, the next step before the hyaluronic acid injection is a cortisone injection. Doesn't help forever, buy some time. Arthroscopy for arthritis is, helps a short time. Arthroscopy for a sports medicine injury helps a long time. The problem is and with arthroscopy, you take things out. You can't put things in. So that when you have arthritis and you need a new surface, you could clean out what's there and smooth it out, but you can't cure anything. It, it buys some time. Here at the Institute, our anesthesiologists don't put you to sleep in 85% of cases. The only people who they put to sleep are people with terrible arthritis in the spine or prior major spinal fusion surgery where they can't put the little tube in. Otherwise, you're kept awake. Now, you snore, but you're, you sleep naturally, and you're awake through the procedure, which is very healthy. It also allows us to give you pain relief for 24 hours through that little tube. Now, we're excited because hopefully by next month, we'll be able to extend the pain relief program another three days with a new technology where we keep you awake, but we give you a little tube in, around your nerve, and that will pump medication. It will be a very not unpleasant experience. The gender knee. Let me tell you what the gender knee is. They're spending 10, 20 million dollars on those ads. The knee is measured on the femur from the top to the bottom. 
So the companies would make different sizes based on top to the bottom, but never were concerned about width. In the past, 15% of women had pain after knee replacement because they were too wide. <coughs> so companies started to get the idea, maybe they shouldn't be so wide for women. And they made a second size, the same height, but a little more narrow. So it won't be too wide. Because you know what? There's a difference between boys and girls. <laughs> and the scientists figured that out. <laughs> so what they did is made a more narrow prosthesis for women. And that's every company offers that now. There's such a thing as being too young to have pain, altered function, miserable life. That you, okay. If this is an elective procedure, the doctor's responsibility is to educate you as to the risks, we talked about them, the benefits, we talk about them, and the survivorship, how long it's going to last. And if you go into this and say, okay, it's going to last me 17, 18, 19 years, so when I'm 17, 18 years longer, I'll need a second operation to give me a quality life, your decision. It is not a doctor's job to say you can't have quality life. You have to go in a nursing home in a wheelchair and come back when you're 65, and then I'll do it. You go into this knowing that it's not going to last forever. But so what? You're going to have quality of life, play your golf, ride your bike, and go fishing, enjoy your life. Come back in 17 years and we we'll do it again. Take this in hand. Here it is. This is a new prosthesis that you will read about um, on July 7, 2007, when the company Smith Nephew goes public with it. This is called a deuce, oh, you broke my prosthesis. <laughs> this is called, that's how, it, no. Get a phone man to fix it. Bend, it. bend it and straighten it and you'll see what it's all about. It is designed for someone who wants a higher level of activity, if you have an anterior cruciate ligament, it preserves it. It only addresses that part of your knee which is arthritic. And we've done now five of them here. And there are about four orthopedic surgeons in Metropolitan Chicago that have been trained by the company to do it. So we started doing it before they went public. But it's for people who have a higher demand, physical demand, who have a bowed leg, but the outer part of their knee is not involved. And that's, you're looking at it.